Round two of the NCAA tournament kicked off with the matchup between the Duke Blue Devils and the UCF Knights. It was an action-packed game from start to finish that ended up with UCF coming centimeters away from pulling off a shocking upset. Eli, will this end up being the game of the tournament? Yeah, Tom, I'm not sure anything's going to be able to top that. The closest thing we had was a game today between Tennessee and Iowa. But Duke did the same thing that they've done all season. They came out, their freshmen contributed most of the points. The only two that were able to score that weren't freshmen were Jordan Goldwire and, jo and Javin Delorier. But the one thing Duke saw this game that they haven't seen the rest of this season was a seven foot six man down there guarding the paint and getting rebounds. I mean, Taco Fall, once he fouled out, you kind of knew that mm -hmm. it was going to come back to bite him, and you saw that. RJ Barrett got that put back yeah. off the rebound. The Tacos in the game, they definitely have a better chance of getting that rebound. UCF does. Even at the end, with that tip in, you'd rather have the 7 6 Taco Fall going mm -hmm. up there than Aubrey Dawkins, who played phenomenal with yeah, those 32 points. I mean, you kind of have to question mm -hmm. Coach Johnny Dawkins not giving him the ball, but. Like I said, they came centimeters away from not well, taking down Duke. He didn't get the ball, but he had a good opportunity to put the tap back in on the on the glass at the end of the game. But like Zion said, sometimes the basketball gods are on your side, sometimes they're not, and they smiled on Duke tonight. Another thing that Zion said that was pretty noteworthy was he said Coach Mike Krzyzewski is the greatest of all time. Eli, what do you think Coach Gay's case is for that? I agree with that assessment, but obviously his biggest contender is going to be John Wooden, but it was obviously a different time. John Wooden didn't play in an NCAA tournament where you had to win six games to win the national championship, but he also did win a lot of games with teams that probably should not have won national championships. So it's obviously two eras going up against one another, but there's a good case for Coach K to be the greatest coach of all time. And, I mean, Zion Williamson, what more can you say? I mean, this is the second mm -hmm. time you watched him. Until you see him in person, you really don't get a mm -hmm. feel for how – athletic he is. Mm -hmm. Definitely going to be the number one overall pick in my opinion. I don't know if he really has a contender, maybe John Warrant, but I don't know if teams are going to be able to pass up on someone as athletic and explosive as Zion Williamson. And I'm excited to see what he's going to do in the Sweet 16 and maybe moving forward. It'd be shocking to me if someone passed up on him. I mean, he's a talent that people have mm -hmm. said we haven't seen since LeBron. Yeah. He's the guy they got to go with. Mm -hmm. I agree. Uh, the next game we saw tonight wasn't quite as exciting, but we still got to see a high seed. We got to see Virginia take on Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Two big Two Power Five conference teams going against one another. Virginia played the game that they played tonight, and they didn't see any seven foot six guys out there <laughs> playing in the cream and white. So they managed to keep control of the ball, score the points, and keep Oklahoma from making tough shots, which you have to do to beat Virginia. Uh, Virginia did what they did. They controlled the pace. Mm -hmm. They limited Oklahoma on offense. And I mean, Oklahoma put up 95 points the other night. Yeah. Uh, did they even crack 50? I don't know. I, you know what? I, I think believe. they got. I think they got the 51. But Maybe. But can you believe that? 95-51, yep. to 51, Coach Tony Bennett really got his guys fired. And it's all especially cylinders. scary for teams that will face Virginia further into the tournament because of how much Kyle Guy struggled tonight, and they still managed to win by double digits. I Ty know. Jerome was exceptional. R.J. Hunter was exceptional, but they always are. But they usually get a lot from Kyle Guy, and he didn't give them much tonight, and they still managed to roll. I mean, you it's really a tale of two games. You saw Duke. Mm -hmm. There are four freshmen, they carry the load. They're their top scorers. Virginia, they yeah. got contributions from all over the place. Their top mm -hmm. scorer couldn't have cracked more than yeah. 15. They're much more of a passing team that's going to get the ball around. And Duke's more of a one-on-one -on -one team that's going to go down there, break you down, maybe pass it back out to a three-point shooter. But uh, I think both of these teams have a good opportunity to make the Final Four and win a national championship. Well, that's, yeah, got to step mm -hmm. ahead of me. That's my next question. What do you think is next to these two yeah. teams? Duke goes on to take the winner of... Do you know who they got next? They've got Virginia Tech next. Virginia Tech managed to beat Liberty. I think they've got a good opportunity to win that game. They've already lost to Virginia Tech once this season, but that was in Blacksburg, and Zion Williamson was not available. Now, Virginia Tech also had a player out that's, got a, that's a big contributor for their team, but I still think Duke has too much talent to be able to lose that game. And after today, I think they'll be more focused to be able to give the best effort that they can give. And then Virginia takes on... The winner of UC Irvine, the Oregon. Of UC Two University. Cinderella's in the making. Mm -hmm. Uh, neither of them are obviously as good as you would expect to see in the Sweet 16 in terms of having a higher seed, but I think that both of those teams have an opportunity to play well against Virginia, but I still see Virginia going further down. The I mean, you're talking about how Virginia didn't have to play Taco Fall, but they dodged the bullet. If mm -hmm. Oregon advances, they're not yeah. going to have to go up against 7-2 Bull Bull. Yeah. Oregon's won a lot of games in a row, though. They won the Pac-12 tournament. They had to do that to get into the tournament, and then they won one or possibly two games, and if they take them on, that'll definitely be a closer game than people might anticipate. Mm -hmm. Well, it was certainly a great weekend for the University of South Carolina and Columbia. Mm -hmm. The state of basketball in South Carolina looks like it's up on the mm -hmm. upswing. Any uh, final mm -hmm. thoughts? Well, South Carolina had the opportunity to put their biggest star on the biggest stage in their home state. I think that's a great move, a great movement point for this game of basketball in this state. And maybe it will be able to advance going into the future. Well, you heard it here. For Capital City Sports, I'm Tom Santanello. I'm Eli Brand.